Okay, here we have HP, I don't know. So we've got no markings. HP, what is it? So, HP TPN612. No, 6126. HP HQ TR7107. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> I've got it. Been handed to me by my son from one of his mates. And it won't load it's stuck in a loop uh it, it won't repair it won't re it won't um restore it won't restore from backup it won't restore from anything so <clears throat> either the hard drive's gone down or it's just corrupt so i'm going to remove the hard drive and back up all his data which he's got loads and loads of kids uh oh sorry i didn't see that loads and loads of kids pictures so battery out first unlock you're going to need well one of these but not this as that's the hard drive my hard drive so you're going to need one of these backup i got this i have an old um us backup drive and it works fine so i'm going to take his hard drive out so the video is taking his hard drive out and back up the data and then reinstall in and hopefully that's the problem so on the back we've got multiple screws i'm going to take this one in the middle first because this is the one that Holds the CD ROM in. So take him out. Usually all the same size, we'll see. CD ROM. Um, when you take the battery out, you've got one here and one there as well. So they've got to come out. I don't have any underneath the feet. I'll have a look. Okay, so I'll undo these. Looks like they're all the same size, and I'll get back to you when they're all unscrewed, and then off comes the case. Okay, all the screws are out. Once you've done that, I start from the CD-ROM side. Just if you can just push pressure, because this is the lighter size. See if you can see that. I don't know if you can. It's a bit springy because there's no CD-ROM there, so this will be the easiest part to get the panel away. So you've got to take the pop top panel from underneath. So I prise a little bit with your fingers. Work your way around the front, like so. Sorry, you squeeze my hands. And just gently, it doesn't take much. That's it. Just gently prise the top part off. You can see that. I'm just going round with my thumbs, and that's it. So that's all I'm doing. Just gently. If anything gets stuck, don't force it. Have a look underneath, make sure you've got all the screws out. All right, so it's stuck there. So make your way around. That's it. So I'm going to turn it around over because underneath the battery part, I missed a screw or something because it could be something underneath there. No, so don't have to close it all too. Just going to look underneath the rubber feet because these are a bit. Oh, there we go, another one there. So these just come off. If you don't try not to put too much sticky, well, to try not to get the stickiness off, but so put them to one side. So one there. They're all the same, same size screws, so don't worry. And one there. Okay. So that should now carry on coming off a bit easy. So make your way round again. Can you see that? Yep. Right, there we go. So that comes off there. So it's still a bit tight there. I don't want to look. Anything else? No. Okay, it's just been a bit awkward. Little clips on the inside there. There we go. 
Did you see that? There's a little clip just there. Just push them in. Let's try again. No rush, no rush. Yes, I had him then. Bear with me. There we go. It's a little bit awkward that one. They all are actually. Okay, confession, I've missed one out in the middle. As soon as you take that out, guess what happens? Yeah, piece of cake comes off. Okay, there is no wires attached. So, yeah, as soon as you, I just missed one in the middle. See what I mean? You have to be so vigilant. Anyway, so there we go. Close him down, and I want the hard drive out. So, this is your hard drive. It's held in there. I don't want to take that out. I don't want to take that out. So I think what we need to do, because that's a, that's not, is that fixed? Right. So you're going to have to do these two. So two hold in the side drive in, or you're going to have to take this whole panel out. And that's silly. Oh, by the way, it's also. Memory upgrade as well if you want to. Okay, so undo those two. And there you go. See, I thought that cradle would be separate, but it's not. No, it's not. It's actually fixed, yeah. So you've got to. So there's another screw here. At the front. That's a smaller one, so you've got two big ones for the back. One small one for the front, and that releases that, and then out gently, just ease that out. So now we've got to get the data off this. So then I'm going to plug this now into my. Excuse me. My portable hard drive, and I'll take this down the house, and I'll get the data off. And that's what we've got to do. So catch you in a bit. Okay, I'm testing the drive. It doesn't look very good. It keeps losing USB connection. Not this one. This is mine. This is a terabyte. So double confirm it. I'm going to connect this now back to the device I've got down the house and see if this if this connects okay. Then we know the drive is faulty because it's jumping in and jumping out of USB connection. Do loop, do loop. And when you go to try and retrieve data or anything, it just keeps on losing it. So I think the drive is gone. But um, we'll see. Then we'll replace it with this one. Okay tested it put my drive on this is a working drive well i thought it was a working drive this works perfectly i've been able to add and remove files off this delete whole programs a lot so i know that's working fine um and this one is in and out of usb connection like a yo-yo so well, i'm pretty sure it, i'm pretty sure 99.99999 recurring percent that this is knackered so i'll give my son to give the bad news to his mate um, I can replace both I'm going to do a job for him so I'll do this new terabyte drive well second hand terabyte drive a good one and reinstall Windows reinstall office try and get his data off this to not on Monday if I can I don't hold much hope for it um, 60 quid 65 quid I think I'll charge but we'll see what he comes back with and then we'll put it back together so be with you in a bit Okay, so go ahead and repair it. So what we're going to do now, we've got to remove this cradle exactly the same way it's come off this hard drive onto this hard drive. So if we just flick him over, turn him round. So what we're going to do now is drop this cradle onto this. Which that's the only way, it's the easiest way of doing it. Okay, so... Put him to one side, we'll have a look at him on Monday. Oh, 
find the screw up. Okay, put the small one back in again. Okay, just move the power back. You might have to lift this up just a little bit just to get the screws in if you can see that. Once you get one in it should be pretty straightforward. So right, so just lift him up. Bit fiddly. There we go. Two, just gently pull him back. Push him home, that should fit nice. There's little tags just here and there that they fit into. And then the tiny screw. Back in there. That's that done. And on goes the case. We haven't lost, we've lost one of the rubber foot, rubber feet somewhere. I'll just find that. It's that simple. Make sure they all clip home. That's all you have to do. Just go around with your thumb and press. I have to lift the screen up on that bit. And they'll clip home a little bit when you start putting the screws in as well. And that's about it really. Flip him over, put the CD-ROM back in, which is that way round. It can only go in one way, it won't go physically the other. Okay, put the rubber feet on. They only go one way round as well, the curvature, with the curvature there. Put, uh, put the screws in first. Well, you'll have two screws left over and you'll be throwing them away. I thought they're all, yes, they're all the same size. I'll screw all these down. Rubber feet. Can I go on one way round? Battery back on. I think the battery's dead. I was a good test. Okay, just have a glance around. She should be flush all around the edge here. Should be flush. Yep, pretty good. Underneath. If you look around the back as well. Yep, all good. I don't think it'll fire. No, it needs it needs power. There you go. Changing the hard drive on a HP. Oh, there we go. So. We're going to come up with diagnostics and whatnot, bear with me, because we don't have any operating system or anything on there at the moment. Um, so you'll press your key either F10 or F2 or whatever you want to do to go into system, into the BIOS, and then you'll set it to boot from either USB or CD-ROM and then load Windows 10. I have a video uh, on my channel, um, and I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, how to put Windows on a laptop, okay? 
Thanks for watching. If you like to look at my thumb, if you like to like, subscribe, and share, that would be great. Take care and see you in the next vid. All the best.